Okay, once you got the other side with the loop and it's all set up, you come over to this side here, which is the hard side supposedly, and uh, you have the loop coming just like this. Come right out, come right up and under and right over. This is, this is already tight. Leave about a half inch gap there. Take your pipe that you made. Again, the pipe is just like an inch and a quarter or so. It has a little hole here for the uh, size of the wire. It's a little bit bigger than the wire. It has another hole on this side here for the uh, T. You know, there's some kind of leverage, so I'm using a piece of rebar, but you can use anything you want for a T. Give yourself a little more leverage. And you guys have a nice little tightening wrench. Uh, anyways, this is about two feet long or so, two and a half feet long. And uh, so we're just going to go ahead and tighten it up. Okay, so once you slip it on there, now you're naturally going to think you want to go this direction. Okay, go up and over. So you're thinking, I'm going to take it, I'm going to roll it this direction. Do not do that. When you have it set just like this, roll it towards the pipe, which will in turn force this thing tight and straight. I'll show you. So I got it all set up. I take it, I put it up against the pipe, and I start doing it. Is it on? It's red. Now that is tight. You see my hand? Mm -hmm. My hand is tight on the drum now. Okay. So you just tightened it. And you just come back down a little bit and uh, roll it into your uh, into a loop. You just make a loop out of it. And uh, once you got your loop all set up, I'll just tighten it up in a second. Okay. So that's the way it'll look. Uh, you know, just wrap your wrap your thing around a little bit, and uh, you're fine. Again, it's super tight. And uh, it's perfect. Okay.